um, when you're done with that, please see to it that you also put the oxygen for him. Okay? Let's assist his breathing a bit. Okay, sir. It's, um, it's not looking too bad. I'm sure it will be fine in no time, but uh, we just keep praying that he stays with us. Hmm? He comes around soon. Thank you, sir. Excuse me. I don't know who you are, but I want you to stay with me, okay? We'll do our best. Miss Bola, okay. um, has anyone called for him? Not yet. How is he doing though? It's fine. We've been able to stabilize him. Thank God. Um, so where's the guy that brought him? He left immediately. He said he's just a good Samaritan. And you let him go? No details, nothing? He refused to come into the reception, let alone putting down his details. And he didn't even see any identification on him? No. We should just wait now. Maybe someone will come looking for him. Okay then. We need more information about this patient. His identity, his medical history. It's important for his treatment and recovery. I asked Nurse Bola already. She said the good Samaritan that brought him left immediately without any message. We need to report this to the police. Don't you think we should wait a little longer for him to regain his consciousness? That way he can tell us about himself. Come to my office. I prefer to stay on my feet. Come on, I won't hurt you. Okay, I'll come to you. <clears throat> you know, women and drama are five and six. <laughs> hmm? Come on. How many times will I tell you how much I love you? And I've told you several times that the feeling is not the same. The same? I have enough feeling for two people. Just give me the chance to prove it, okay? I don't want anything from you. Just name your price. I mean, name your price. This, this hospital is mine and money is not the problem. You just tell me what you want and I'll do it. I don't want anything. Okay, okay. Um, do, do, do you want a car? I mean, I, if, if, if that's what you want, I... I don't want anything from you. I don't. Just stop being hard on yourself. Hmm? <laughs> I'll get you. I'll get you. Except it's not Richard. <laughs> Never are you okay?
Why don't anyone come looking for you? Are you an orphan like me? My mom died 13 years ago. She left me all alone in this world. But it's just God and I rocking this life together. My dad abandoned us. I don't even know what he looks like. He abandoned me when I was little. I don't have a picture, nothing. I just pray you wake up. I have to go back to duty. I'll come back and finish the story for you. is all this now? After all the bills we are paying monthly, they still have to take the light. They can't just even leave this light for 24 hours. This one knows what is calling. Hello? Nosbola, what's up? The patient is awake. Who? The patient in what three? <gasps> really? Yes, um, I just thought I should let you know of the new development. The doctor is attending to him. Oh my goodness! Thank you so much. Thank you so much for calling me. Thank you. I'll, I'll come in tomorrow, okay? Okay, now I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. All right, bye. God, thank you so much. Thank you for bringing me back. Thank you. Aww. Didn't I give you 200,000 Naira last week? 200,000 Naira? Ah, baby things are increasing every day. <laughs> now, how much do you want? Um, let's see. 500,000 or six. For what? For baby cream? This thing, you don't know. These are very expensive. Okay, it's fine. If you need to go to the market, baby things are just so expensive. <laughs> Sent. Uh, a lot received. <laughs> Thank you very much. You know that this baby is the only surviving family member that I have left. And that is why I'm giving him the best of the best things. Thank you. You are awake. Can you hear me? I want you to blink if you can hear me. I can hear you. Oh, thank God. Where am I? You're in the hospital. What am I doing in the hospital? Someone rushed you here. The guy that brought to you doesn't have any information about you. So let's start by knowing your name. What is your name? Maxi. Maxi. Maxi, what? What is your surname? Convenience. 
抗日。You don't know your name. I'll get the doctor, okay? Your vitals are good. You are on your way to recovery. I can't seem to remember anything. How did I get here? Well, from our diagnosis, you were involved in an accident. Accident? Mm hmm How? We were hoping you would tell us. I mean, you were brought in here in a critical condition and no one has come looking for you since then. I, I don't remember anything. It's not impossible for an accident victim, you know, to have memory loss. Especially given the kind of heat you had on your head. But we will run some more tests to see the extent of damage to the brain. Mm. In the meantime, I would say continue to rest easy, okay? We're doing the best we can. Wait. Please, can I get something to eat? Yeah, sure. What would you like to eat? Anything. Okay, I'll get you something. Thank you. It's really nice. Thank you. You're welcome. I hope it didn't cost so much. It's my lunch. Oh. Oh, no, no, don't worry. Just eat. I'll eat when I get home, okay? We can share this one. I said don't worry. I'll eat when I get home. Just continue eating. Go on. Thank you, nurse. You're welcome. Can you call me Mabel? Thank you, Mabel. Is it okay if I call you Sam? Sam? Sounds like a nice name. I'm glad you like it. This tastes really good, you know. Thank you. You should consider food business. <laughs> and leave the company for who? crying now eh you're going to make me to start crying now and you know it's not good for the baby anita yes can you move in here with me at least i can get to bond with alice jr every day absolutely 
If you want me to move you right now, I will. Really? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome anytime. <sighs> you changed your ring. Alex, change it. You know how your brother likes to spend. So tell me, how would I? I don't know. Maybe 25. 25? Nah. You look way older than 25. And I'm 99. 99? Mm. Then you must be a vampire. Because it's only a vampire that will look this handsome at 99. Oh. I. I didn't know I was handsome. Thanks for the compliment. Well, I wasn't complimenting you. Being a vampire is not a compliment. But being handsome is definitely a compliment. Maybe I wasn't born like everyone else. Why would you say that? <sighs> I just don't understand why I don't remember anything. Not even my childhood memories. Nothing. Just give it time, okay? Do you think time can bring back my memories? Time heals all wounds. And what do you think you were doing with that stranger? I was only trying to be friendly. He has no one looking for him. At least someone should care. And that someone should not be you. I don't understand. You can't tell me who to be friends with. You think I didn't see how you cared for him while he was unconscious? Going to his world, singing to him, reading to him. And now that he's conscious, you want to start up a romantic relationship with him right under my nose? Knowing how much I care for you. Doctor, with all due respect. Don't, don't, don't you dare throw my feelings back at my face. And don't you dare force it down on me either. Have you, have you fallen in love with him? I care about all my patients. Why should this one be different? I answer the damn question! Is everything okay? What can I do to cheer you up? I can, I can put you on my back. You called me. His test results are out and shows that he has temporary memory loss. The thing is, 
I don't know how long this will last. Wow. That's tough news. So what do we do now? <sighs> His medical bees are piling up. I think it's time we let him go. Let him go? Go where? Someone that can't even remember his own name. He can go somewhere else and remember his name. Oh. Doctor, can you please give him a little more time? Let him at least remember anything. And who picks the bills? I'll pay for my salary. Not in my hospital. Are you doing this because I turned you down? Or you're doing this because of- I'm doing this because I want to save you. You're spending too much time with that stranger. Sam is not a stranger. Oh! He has finally remembered his name. No. It's just a name I call you. <laughs> you already gave him a pet name. Why are women so delusional? Mabel. Mabel. Why, why are you doing this to me? You know, you know, you know how much I care about you. If you care about me, then you let him stay and run some tests. So that way we can know how to help him. I'll think about it. Thank you, sir. Have you heard? He's gone, Doctor. Richard asked him to leave. Who? The patient in Ward 3. Sam. Is that his name? When did he leave? Last night. Why didn't you call me to tell me now? I have no credit on my phone now. He left last night. My goodness. Is the doctor in? No. This hospital is not a public institution. We're already incurring significant losses, treating him without money and no identification. And, and it, was, it, was becoming, it was becoming unsustainable. But I offer to pay for my salary. <laughs> and how far do you think your salary will go? I did what was the best interest for everyone. I can't believe you would do this to your fellow human. <sighs> Wise words. But emotions don't pay the bills of this hospital, neither does it pay your salary. What did you see? See, he can't deny it. I saw him with my own two eyes. He asked him to leave. I just prefer for safety. I'm fine. How are you? I'm good. I'm so sorry about Dr. Richard. It's okay. He told me you offered to take care of the hospital bills. I don't want to be a burden to anyone. Oh no, you're not a burden to me. I will help you in whatever way I can, okay? Thank you. So tell me, uh, where did you pass the night? Uh, Somewhere 
down the streets. Down the streets? Yeah, actually on the streets. You slept on the streets? Wow. So what have you been doing? If I tell you, you won't believe me. Try me. So I got a dishwashing job in a restaurant up there. Seriously? Yes. The pay is not much, but it's something to get me by. Hmm. Is that where you got this clothes from? No. Um, doctor actually gave this to me and some other ones. Dr. Richard? Yeah. He even gave me some money. But the job I got comes with feeding, so I'm saving that one. Wow. I'm happy for you. Thank you. And accommodation? You're welcome to my home. Thank you. Thank you for everything you're doing for me. <laughs> I really appreciate it. You're welcome. Um, you can have the bed while I have the couch. No, no, don't worry. The couch is fine now. Well, no, you're my guest. You should use the bed and I'll use the couch. You've done, you've done enough. Don't worry, this, this is my spot, okay? Thank you. Okay, if you insist. Um, you know what? Just relax and feel comfortable while I make dinner for us. I can help. No, don't worry, you're my guest. So just sit down and relax, okay? Do you want water? Yes, uh, I'm very thirsty. I'll get you water. Good morning. <clears throat> Breakfast is ready. Good morning. <sighs> Did you cook? No, I actually bought it. Oh. You shouldn't have. I didn't want you to bother cooking before going to work. It's not a bother. I'm on night shift today. Oh. Yeah. So, what did you buy? Where did you buy the food? Uh, down the road is actually nice. I had some it's rice and stew. Okay. Let me go get ready for work. Okay. Let me let me follow you then. You follow me to work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Coming. I came to apologize for the way I spoke to you yesterday. It's okay. Thank you. And I also came to thank you for the clothes and money we gave Sam. How did you know about that? Oh wait. You went looking for him, didn't you? I can't abandon him on the streets without an identity. Hmm. That's very kind and thoughtful of you. <clears throat> you know, and I admire you for that. Hmm? But he can't be trusted yet. But my instincts can be trusted. <laughs> Does your instinct know if he's a criminal? I mean, what if he's lying about this whole memory loss thing? But the... Yes, the test said so. But we don't know if he's just a partial amnesia and he's lying that he's a total loss of memory. Why would he want to do that? 
a man would do anything to get what he wants from a woman. And that's why, if he must help, do as I did, and from a distance. You know, you know how much I care about you. I don't want to see you suffer in the hands of a stranger. I, I listen. I want you. My body yearns for you. I know you feel the same way. But what I don't know is why you're fighting it. Huh? <laughs> Dr. Richard could be right, you know. See, I had everything, including the well-deserved slap. See, I'm always worried anytime you enter that man's office, because I know the kind of person he is and what he's capable of doing. I just have to mind my business. Can you please don't talk to me in parables? Listen, when I had the slap, I thought he was hitting you. That was why I stormed into the office. But it was a relief to know it was the other way around. Don't. You did well. What? What? Is he after you too? He threatened to sack me if I don't give in to his advances. Please don't tell me you gave in to him. What if I don't find another job? You see, that's the lies we tell ourselves that keep us bound and not the circumstances. He might be right about the stranger you took to your house though. It could be anything worse than you think of. I hope this is relaxing. Yes, it is. Thank you. You're welcome. Where did you learn how to do this? Maybe I picked it up some years ago. Years ago? I thought you don't remember anything. I don't. That's why I said maybe. Is that why you pulled your leg away? Do you have any criminal records? I can't remember. You can't remember anything? I can't. It feels like there is a fog in my mind and I can't seem to see through it. Listen, I know I can't afford a therapist now, but we're going to take this one step at a time, okay? And I want you to know that I will always be by your side. I want you to know that you're not alone in this journey, okay? Thank you. I need to to say thank you to the person that brought me to the hospital. I also want to thank you for being my ray of sunshine. Thank you for being my smile. Thank you for bringing me in even when you did not know me. Thank you for going through this with me. I really do appreciate it. Please stop reading my eyes are Terry. <laughs>
Sam? Sam? Sam! Good morning. Wishing you a day full of sunny smiles and happy thoughts. Breakfast is in the kitchen. And don't forget, keep that smile on till I get back. Mama T so is so nice. Why do you think she has so many customers? God has really blessed her. You think this one is nice? Let me get my salary for this month. I will let you try her vegetable soup. You will bite your tongue. Hmm. I can't wait to. I can't wait to test it. Thank God the salary day is close. <laughs> So, tell me, how is uh, Dr. Richards? How is Dr. Richards? I hope you guys are okay. You don't want to take meat. Not after this lap. You slapped your boss. Ah, why now? Sam, wait, Sam, Sam, Sam. Why? He assaulted you and needs to be checked. He has been avoiding me since the slap. I don't think he will try such anymore. Please, just don't go. Just let him be. I don't want anyone to hurt you. No one has ever fought for me before. I've been the one fighting my own battles. Well, all that changes now that you have me. Thank you. Do it again. Don't care about my life in the past. I like it here. Don't tell me about reality Cause you are my reality You, are the one you have that effect on me Tell me what more can I ask for Than to have you by my side Cause you're the one You know, let's, let's go back inside If you ask me what I want I will gladly tell you Did you feel anything? My mind is still a blank slate. But I'm grateful for giving me a chance to create new memories with you. I may have lost my memories, but being here is all that matters. You live rent free in my mind, and I want it to stay that way because I have fallen helplessly in love with you. <sighs> the feeling is much I have just been hiding it under the wraps. I don't want to be hurt again. Hurting you is like hurting myself. Why would I want to do that to myself? I will never hurt you. Promise? With every fiber in me. You have showed me kindness in a blank world. Why would I ever make you cry? Stay. 
man, I love you more. A sack letter? I should have done that a long time ago. But you know how much I want this job. But you know how much I want you. Yet, you give it to a stranger. I should have known all along that I was working with a monster. I should have known I was working with a delusional nurse. Shut the door after you. Thank you for the gift of friendship. You know, I've always got you right. I'll pay you a visit after work. Thank you. Can you see? Uh, let me just grab my bag and I'll go. All right. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Dr. Richard, we need to talk. What about? So you let a good hand go because you can't control that thing in between your legs. Watch your mouth, Bola. Or what? You fire me just, just like you fired her. It's complicated. There is nothing complicated about right or wrong. She wasn't weak. You fired her because she refused to satisfy your sexual urge. Listen, I have been quiet, but not anymore. I have let my fear hold me down, not anymore. You can consider this my letter of resignation. This hospital go down by your hand or your mouth. Would. I'm out of here. So wait, he fired you because you refused to sleep with him? Yes, but see, don't worry. I'll get another job. It's not like he pays fantastic salary. It's just that I wanted to use the money to pay for my house rent next month. Oh, speaking of the house rent. The landlord was here today. What did he say? I hope he didn't pull down the house. He did, but I gave him some money and told him to give me some time. You did what? Where did you get the money from? Oh, I have been saving all my tips and my salary came in today, so I had to give it to him. Thank you. What are you thanking me for? It's nothing. Anything for you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I want to go for a walk. You want to come? Yeah. All right, let's go. <laughs> so you don't know, tell me, tell me that that story you told me the last time that your your mom saw you. Just Alex. Alex, we've been looking everywhere hey, hey, for you. Can you stop it? Do I know you? You don't remember me. Um, sorry, Samir was involved in an accident. He lost his memories and can't remember everything that happened before the accident. An accident? Yes. His name is Alex. My name is Sam. Who are you? I'm your sister, Grace. You need to come no, home with that, me. No, I'm not going. Don't touch me. Come home with you for what? I'm not going anywhere, okay? I don't know you. Alex, I'm the only siblings that you have. Our parents died five years ago in a car accident. <laughs> See, this is the picture of us 
We took this picture a day before you went missing. Anita is worried about you. Who is Anita? Your fiancé. What? Let's go. I said don't touch me. I'm not going anywhere with you. I don't know you. Let's go. This lady is so weird. Alex. My name is Sam, not Alex. Reconnecting with your family is a good thing. They've been searching for you. I cannot go back to a life I cannot remember. What if she's not who she claims she is? You can't tell that from afar. You need to get closer to her. This is where I want to be. Not anywhere else. Sam, you have a wife. She could help trigger your memories. Look, I don't want to trigger any memory without you in it. Don't you understand? I don't want it. You are my life now. And this is my home. I cannot throw all of that away because someone claims she's my sister. The truth is worth finding out. The truth is what I feel for you and not who they are to me. I am not going anywhere without you. If that's what you want. Hello? Hello? Yes? Hi. Hi. Welcome. Thank you. You're finally here. I've missed you. I've missed you. <sighs> I understand. Give it time, you're gonna remember. When Grace told me she saw you, I was so excited. Oh, like, our oh, baby's finally going to meet his father. Look, look to your baby. I'll bring that for you. Oh, my goodness. This is Anita, your fiance. Are you going to leave me here? Alex, this is where you belong. Those ladies in there, they care about you. No. That is not my name. Don't call me that. Listen. Everyone needs a family. You see those ladies in there? They care about you. They are your family, okay? Goodbye, Alex. No, 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 no. This, you can't leave me here. This, you can't say that. This isn't goodbye. It can be goodbye. Mabel, Mabel.
Baby, do you remember anything about our plans? We were supposed to get married before you went missing. I'm sorry. I... I wish I could remember, but... It's all blank. I propose to you. It's fine. Don't worry. We're in this together, okay? But at least you remember the company which you worked so hard for, right? I don't remember. Okay, I guess it's going to take time, no problem, okay? Let me take it to your room. Let me take it to your room upstairs. Captured my heart and I cannot let go. You're the one my heart beats for. From the start, I thought we are joking, but look at where we are now. Loving each other, can't you see we are meant for each other? Baby, I can let you go. Us are falling in love, and I can help myself, but to love you more, baby, I can let you go. Us are falling in love, and I can help myself, but to love you more. No matter the obstacles, I'll keep following. Come rain, come shine, I'll be with you, my love. We are meant for each other. You captured my heart, and I cannot let go. You're the one my heart beats for. From the start, I thought we are joking. But look at where we are now Loving each other Can't you see we are meant for each other Baby, I can let you go Cause I'm falling in love And I can help myself But to love you more Baby, I can let you go Cause I'm falling in love Love, and I can help myself but to love you more. Don't you miss me? I'm sorry. I, I just, I, I can't. We have been together for so long. Don't you miss, don't you miss our connection? You can't miss what you're ignorant of. I can help you remember. No. Um, sorry. It's just... S -s Stop, please. No, 
Can you just stop? Stop this nonsense. Look. I'm sorry. I was hoping you would understand too. Give me more time to myself. I'm only trying to help you recover your lost memory. But obviously you don't care anymore. This, this was you at the handover of the company. And this, <laughs> yes, I love this picture. <laughs> this was you at the opening of the company. This is also... I want to be left alone. Come on, baby. I said I want to be left alone. This is not right, okay? Please stop. I miss you. I miss us. <laughs> what, what we had? It's no more. There is no us no more. There will always be us. See, I am carrying your child. <laughs> this baby is not mine until DNA proves otherwise. Please, can you just leave? You think all this is a lie? You think us is a lie? You think this child I am carrying is a lie? Alex, wake up from your delusion because this is real and is the truth. What's wrong? What's wrong? I want you to tell me about me. How was I? And Anita? Because that girl seems kind of off. <laughs> You both were so opposite. But you were fond of her and you love her. <sighs> you are the life of every party. Clubbing, drinking, going out. You love doing all those things. You were devoted to the company. 
And when you're not working, <laughs> you are moving from one club to another. <laughs> and that is one thing Anita doesn't like. You both argued about it, but you can't get enough of each other. Wow. We must be really in love with each other. Of course. You proposed to her. We're even planning the wedding before your accident. The day you were going to propose to her, <laughs> you dressed up in a traditional chief attire with a red cap and your ring. <laughs> you... Yes. Are you serious? Uh-huh. You were that playful. And I guess that's why she's very much in love with you. <sighs> Bro. Anita has been through a lot. But now that you're here, she needs you. And the baby needs you. Tell me, was she pregnant before the accident? When you proposed to her, she wasn't pregnant. It was two months after you were missing. That was... That was when she came. She, she came and said she was two months pregnant for you. So that means that pregnancy might not be mine. to go and see Mabel. And who is Mabel? Well, she's someone very special to me. She gave me a home when I did not have Well, you are in your own house now. I am sure Mabel is fine in her own house, okay? Anita, you need to take it easy on him. Alex, you need to go to the company. The employees need to know that you are okay. I'll go to the office when I feel much better. You need to start accompanying me to Antinata. Okay? It is very important for the father and baby bonding. Can you chill with this to-do list? I need time. Time is what we can have. Okay? We need to get back to our to, to our wedding plans before this baby arrives. There is not going to be any wedding until I regain my memory. And what if it takes years for you to regain your lost memory? I can't afford to be a baby mama. My friends will laugh at me. I need a stable future. Is that how you feel? I thought we loved each other. Well, obviously not. Because all you care about is appearances and social pressure. Alex, if you need time, you can take all the time you need in the world. All I care about is that you are home safe and sound. It doesn't feel like home. Alex. You should at least let me in. What do you want? To talk. Hi. 
I went to the office today, but I could not function because I can't stop thinking about you. Can you please stop it? It's complicated. It's not fair to the people around us. Give us a chance. It does not feel real over there. It does not feel like home. I need you. I need you to go. That's the place you might regain your memory. And when that happens, these feelings that you have for me might fade away. Tell me, how do you expect me to live a life I can't remember? Is that what you want? Okay. I'll leave. But I want you to know that you mean more than anything you can ever imagine to me. You are my whole world. And if you're away from me, everything means nothing to me. Shut my heart and I cannot let go You're the one my heart beats for From the start I thought we are joking But because we are we and now Loving each other Can't you see we are meant for each other Baby I can't let you go as I fall in love And I can help myself But to love you more Baby, I can let you go As I fall in love And I can help myself But to love you more No matter the obstacles I'll keep following Come rain, come shine, I will be with you now. Nah, we are meant for each other. You captured my heart, and I cannot let go. You're the one my heart beats for. From the start, I thought we are joking. But because we are we and now Loving each other Can't you see we are meant for each other Baby, I can't let you go Cause I have fallen in love And I can help myself But to love you more Baby, I can't let you go Cause I've fallen in love And I can help myself But to love you more
miss you, baby. What is the meaning of this? Meaning of what? Why are you not seeing the effort I am putting to help you remember your lost memory? I am carrying your child and I have not seen you show any, any sign of affection towards the baby. Anita, I thought we talked. Oh, spare me all of that. How bad is your memory that is making you lose your sexual drive? Get out. You have never risen. I said, get out of my room. Get out. I am carrying your child. Are you still here? Get out. I'm pregnant too. Don't... I'm carrying your child too. He won't even touch me. And it's driving me crazy. It's just so hard. And I miss him so much. I, I, I just feel he's slipping away from me. Anita. I understand. But remember, he's still the same person deep down. Just give him time to adjust and remember who he is. Be there for him. I'm sure he's going to come around. Do you think he loves that girl, Mabel? <sighs> he will come back to you. Just give him the love and understanding that he needs right now. Okay? Everything feels so weird. I feel like a stranger in my own life. I cannot recognize anyone at the office. Everyone and everything feels so new and off. Sam. It's driving me crazy. And the only woman I know does not want to see me. Sam, I... Look, I would stay here with you and continue my cleaning job than to live in that house with people I can't remember. I love you. I love you. You are my whole world. What are you going to do now? I don't know. Right now, all I want is to stay here with you. Whether I really get my memory or not, this is where I want to be. Why well, you need to go to your office? You need to read those forms. Talk to your employees. Meet with business associates. Maybe that way you can regain your memory. I love my simple life and my dishwash job. I understand. But you can't stay in your comfort zone forever. It's time to face the challenges of your old life. That is the only way forward. Hmm? Sonita. She's not even taking my calls. <sighs> What's wrong? 
Alex is not yet back home and he's not taking my calls. Oh, he called me. He's not coming back home tonight. And where is he spending the night? Oh, with that maybe girl. <laughs> if I catch that girl, I will make sure I crush the life out of her. Anita, you need to take it easy on Alice. He's been going through a lot. And what about me? Have you considered how I'm feeling in all of this? I am pregnant and my child needs his father. Do you know Alice has lost his memory? He doesn't even remember all the fights you guys had. He doesn't remember you cheating on him and coming back crying. Alice gave you a second chance because he loves you. So have faith in that love and pray that he regains his memory and stop all this fight. What if it takes too long to regain his memory? I can't handle this uncertainty, you know. I am scared. If you feel it's taking too long, Use this time to create a new memory instead of both of you fighting and nagging me. Ah. My sister, it has not been easy at all. <laughs> that stubborn head has been stressing me. His sister already believed that this pregnancy is theirs before he showed up from the dead. Give me that church rat that got me pregnant. <laughs> he doesn't even know I'm pregnant for him. And I don't intend telling him. Exactly. Alex is the perfect father for my baby. If he finds out that this pregnancy is not his, <laughs> my baby, my meal ticket is gone forever. <laughs> and that's the reason why I am... For how long have you been standing there? Grace, please, wait, 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 now calm down. I can't explain, Grace. Grace, I'm so sorry. Grace, 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 I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. How could you be this girl? It was a mistake. A mistake? So sorry. Please. He needs to know the truth. No, no, he no. He needs to know. No, he doesn't have to know. He doesn't have to know. See, it was a mistake. I would do anything to make this right, please. Please, just cover up for me. Just cover up. up. This is a big secret to cover up. I saw what my brother has been through. I should cover up your mistake. I am so sorry. In fact, I'm calling him right now. No, 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 I'm no, no, calling no. Alex. Right he now. doesn't have to. He doesn't have to. What? What did you say? What did I hear you say? So you want to pain another man's pregnancy on me? Huh? Is that what you're trying to do? Baby, I'm so sorry. Shut, 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 shut up. I am deeply sorry. Sorry for what? <laughs> what are you sorry for? I am so sorry. I and the father were no longer together. It was just a one night stand. Is that why you want to paint the pregnancy on me? No. Are you crazy? Don't touch me. It's you I love. I'm so sorry, my love. I'm deeply sorry. Please. I am what sorry. What am I doing here? What am I doing in this house? Alex. 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 Alex, are you? Alex. Alex. Ah! Alex. Call the doctor. Alex. 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 It's a minor thing. There's really nothing to worry about. <sighs> Thank you so much. Thank you for coming in a short notice. Alice told me you're his personal noise. That's why I called you. Thank you. Um, I have to. Hey, you are done. You have to leave. Are you not done? Go now. Please. Don't mind her. Please stay. This is your home. Huh? This is our home. 
Just like that? Yes, just like that. You better don't let Alice meet you here once he wakes up. Um, it's okay. I'll have to take my leave. I've given him his medication for the pains. Don't worry, we'll be fine, okay? Oh, please don't leave. It's you he knows. I'm not going anywhere, too. I will stay here. When he wakes up, he will forgive me, I know. I'm not going anywhere, too. Excuse me. <laughs> Why did you move into my house? Your house? You now remember your house? Yeah. Why not? Where's Molly? Who is Molly? My sister, that's what I call her. Grace. Uh, she's in our room. Let me go get her. <sighs> Smalley. What did you just call me? Have you changed your nickname? You you haven't called me that since you lost your memory. Well, I remember. <laughs> what is I need to do in here? Maybe I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It was all Mike's idea, please. I caught Anita and her boyfriend in the bedroom with the photocopy documents of the house. Photocopy? Well, because they were college, you thought they were originals? Why would I keep originals laying around? Huh? Anita! I can't believe this. I'm sorry. Baby, I'm so sorry. Mike forced me to do it. They attacked me and left me for dead. What? <sighs> okay, I think I need to go right now. Oh, yeah. why did they rush? Come Alex on. is out of town. How about his sister? That one. She's out of town too. Okay. I have the whole house to myself and that is why I brought you here. Come here, come and give me some more. Oh. Uh, okay, okay. The documents. Do you know where they are? Come on. You need to get the documents. It's important. A document? Yeah. It should be somewhere in the house. I think you need to get the document. That's what you Come on. Get it. Fine. I'll give it to you again. Mm -hmm. I want some more sugar. Okay? Come on. Yeah. You get it from the thing. I see what's. So, sure. Oh, you need my No, no, no,
Yes. What in the name is going on here? And who's this? What are you doing in my room? Vivi, I, 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 huh? I can explain. What is he doing in my room? It's not what you think. It's, it's not what you think. I can, I can explain. Okay? You can explain what? You brought a man into my house? No! What do you mean, no? What are you doing with that? Huh? I can explain. Just calm down, okay? Are you serious? It's, it's not what you think, see. So this is your plan? No. This is your plan? I can explain. Let me explain. Explain. I'm listening to you. Take the document and let's go. It's better of dead. Come on! Come on, let's go. Let's go. Stop right there. Wait, hold on. It's not written. Hold on. Come on, stand up. Let's go. Leave me! Come on, let's go. Come on. We'll sort it out. What about the body? Are we going to leave the body here? Let's go. No, we can't. We can't leave him here. Can't you ask me to calm down? Calm down. We belong to God but can't find this because. Let's go. Do you think we should go a bit further? Please. Please. Let's just drop him here and go. Please, I beg. Let's just drop him here. Please. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Just watch me. Okay. Do you want to go and check? Mike's idea. I'm sorry, please. I called off the wedding and sent you packing. So what are you still doing in my house? I thought we we can still make things up. Make things up? Yes. Make things up for what? Are you crazy? Are you kidding me? After everything you've done, I took the ring from you and asked you not to step foot in this house again. To make things worse, you want to pin another man's pregnancy on me? Don't freaking touch me! Get out of my house. Baby, no. Get out of my house before I do something stupid. Baby, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Get out of my house! I'm calling the police. Anita! Security! Lock down. You know, I can't believe she came back to play with my sister's intelligence. I'm glad you regained your memory before it became too late. Thank you. Thank you for being there and not giving up on me. Meeting you was the best thing that happened to me on this journey. Come here. Mm. Big one. Be serious. Pick one. 
Oh, I don't have time for this fake Instagram love. Does this look like Instagram fake love to you? Just pick one. This one. Are you sure? Will you decide my dinner for the rest of my life? Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> this is the person you go down. Go down on your knees. You go anywhere you go down on your knees. And this is the part I was crying. I'm like. <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> No, we're actually leaving the house now. Okay. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Hey. Hello. Wow. Hello. You look drunk, dead, <laughs> gorgeous. Oh my God. Thank you, baby. Uh, 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 it's okay, it's okay. So where are we going to be? If I tell you, it's not going to be a surprise anymore. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And mm -hmm. you look hot. Thank you. You look like my sweet, beautiful wife. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm. Shall we? Shall we? Shall we? we, we. <laughs> yes, we shall. Okay. <laughs> Um, I know you're wondering why we're here. I wanted this to be an official unveiling to a hospital to your name. Yes, I actually bought this hospital because I overheard it was going bankrupt. And you know, every memory of us started from here. So I just couldn't sit and watch it. It'll go to waste. So. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. Brother, ready? Yeah. yeah. Oh so God. you have to cut. In the name of God, the Father, the Son, the Son and, the and the Holy Spirit. Spirit. You see. Oh. Oh. In the past, I like it here. Don't tell me about reality, cause you are my reality. You are the one oh, where they make my heart dating. Tell me what more can I ask for than to have you by my side? Cause you're the one I want, nobody else can leave. Cause you are my reality You are the one oh, where they make my heart dating Tell me what more can I ask for Than to have you by my 
Cause you're the one.